jumping right in, the first thing I'm going to take is the MAC Soft Darker Paint Pot. And this is just to prep my eyes for the shadow. This stuff really does work and it keeps them primed as opposed to just using concealer. I know a lot of people do that and prefer to do that. But for me, I find that this works so much better. And I'm gonna just going to set it with any powder. I use the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel. And then going into the Tartlet and Bloom Palette, I'm going to take this charmer shade which is basically just a matte white shade sometimes it can be a little bit hard to use like a little bit chalky but with this one I don't really have that problem I do have to layer it a little bit but I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner and my brow bone and then this is when I'm gonna start to sketch out the line where I want my cut crease to be now because I've hooded eyes you want to go above um your crease a little bit so whenever you open your eye you can still see that cut crease so I'm just drawing the line and then what I'm going to do is look forward to make sure that that line is visible so right here I see I'm looking forward and that line is visible that is the key whenever you are hooded like you have hooded eyes like myself so then taking the blending brush, I'm going to take these two shades right here and I'm just going to start blending above that line. Obviously you don't have to be too neat because you are going to be cutting this crease, cutting the crease with a concealer, but it is a little bit easier just to have that as a guideline. So basically what I do is just put that down a little bit and then taking this pointed brush I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just gonna bring that closer to the line now obviously you want a nice fade going so you want to work with a little bit of color and product at a time because you don't want to go into harsh and then have it look like a mess which sometimes it's hard to do like cut creases do take a little bit of practice I will admit so then taking this other pencil brush I'm gonna take these two darker shades right here and I'm just gonna go over the line a little bit just to further deepen it um, Honestly, this all these steps aren't really necessary. Like you could just put down the first um the first transition and then kind of blend that out. But of course, I really like the crease to be darker. So, I just feel like it ties the look more in, but if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. So, here I am just going back over and blending everything together. See so like the outer portion was a little bit dark, but it's going to look fine like once you add your concealer and actually cut the crease, it all comes together, I promise. So then taking this L'Oreal True Match, I think it's just the lightest concealer, and this brush, I'm, it's easier to take flat brushes, obviously. I start laying down the product, and then once I get closer to the crease and where I want it to be cut, I go, I use littler strokes, and I am very, very careful because you, this is the hardest part, like you don't want to mess it up. And then I'm going to set that with that white again, just with any fluffy brush. Now see how it isn't perfectly cut, but it's cut enough to the point where it looks decent. And now taking the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner and Trooper, I'm just going to do my little wing here. Um, this is how I do it. This is probably the best I've ever recorded it, but like, here we are. And here I am stretching my eye because, and no, it's funny, I never do this, but like whenever I'm trying to record on camera, it's so complicated, so I actually did have to stretch my eye. But that is the wing. Uh, nothing really crazy, just just a basic wing. And this is whenever I take this little pigment. This is from Pixie. I don't know what, exactly what it's called, but I'm just going to take that pigment and I'm just going to put it directly under where I cut the crease because this is just going to help to further like like cut the crease um so yeah it, this part's not that hard at all just follow the line that you created and then taking this darker shade right here I'm just gonna line that underneath my lower lash line very close to the roots of my lashes and I'm taking this flat brush because this is the easiest like these brushes here are the easiest to do that with then taking this shade I'm just going to take that pencil brush from before and smoke that out um, inner to outer portion and then taking more of that pigment I'm just gonna press that into the roots of my lashes just to give a little bit more like pop of color I guess it's that part's not really necessary either and here I am just coating my lashes with some mascara before I put on some falsies and for falsies I'm going to be using the Vegas Nay um in Shining Star which are my absolute favorite like kind of made a mess here but this is how I do it I come from above and then secure the inner and then the outer and then the inner yeah the inner then the outer portion and that is the finished look nothing like hard to do completely but yeah that is that's the finished look and i hope you enjoyed please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video